Health and Human Services Secretary RFK Jr. says that he is determined to find the root cause of autism. The Trump administration could issue a release by the end of the month in line with that goal, citing in an August study. The administration says that it may be able to show a link between a common painkiller and autism spectrum disorder. That's acetaminophen, commonly under the brand name Tylenol, which it suggests could cause autism in unborn children if the mother takes that medication while pregnant. Here to talk about the current guidelines, what we now know right now about the medication and other medications that are safe for expecting mothers, we're joined by Dr. Paul Weinbaum with Allegheny Health Network. Doctor, thank you for taking the time. Well, thank you for having me. Yes, from the studies that you've seen and in your personal experience, what has the science so far shown you about any link between any medications and autism or other types of disorders? Right. Well, let me just say first that it would be great if um, a cause and a treatment for autism could be found. However, I think it's important for people to appreciate that autism is not one condition and doesn't have one cause. Clearly, it has multiple causes, genetic, environmental, and probably many others. Um, and one of the things I, I'm concerned about, as I think many of my colleagues are now, is that somehow there's been a mixing of medical science and politics um, in these areas, be it uh, medications in pregnancy, be it vaccines. And I think it's making people very confused and uh, it, it's hard for people to understand really what's going on. Um, to answer your question, however, I think it's very clear that Tylenol, which has been used for a very long time, as far as all the relevant and available literature is concerned, has not been shown in any way, conclusively or otherwise, to be associated with any conditions and certainly specifically autism. Now, doctor, Last what sort of painkillers or pain relief medications are pregnant women allowed to take that you recommend? Right. Well, Tylenol is certainly one of them. Um, you know, the problem is that if a governmental agency were to come out with a restriction for Tylenol, one of the problems with that is what's, what are you going to provide after that? Because certainly for fever early in pregnancy, for pain, it's actually far more dangerous not to treat it than it is to use um, lowest effective dose of a medication like Tylenol. Other options, depending on timing of pregnancy, would include the non-steroidal anti-inflammatories like Motrin, although we'd like to limit those. And certainly, depending on the severity of pain, narcotics can be used. But again, um, we obviously would be hesitant to use a significant uh, amount of narcotics in pregnancy as well. So this is where, you know, our most common recommendations are to use Tylenol. And do you think that there's going to be something new in this report? What are you watching for? And how do you think you're going to weigh that as you continue to treat patients? Right. Once again, what we're all looking for is good science. And in the report that I understand will be coming out, um, what they have failed to do is really look um, and compare studies, comparing apples to apples rather than we could say apples to oranges. And lastly, um, as part of the uh, literature survey that was done by the Mount Sinai people, um, there is a large Swedish study which was done in conjunction with our National Institute of Health. And that study was interesting because they compared the autism rate in siblings. Okay. When you do that, you minimize the genetic component. Um, you minimize other outside factors that you can control. And in that study, in the Swedish study, it was very clear that Tylenol did not increase the risk of autism. Well, doctor, There's thank you so much for taking the time. We're up against a time crunch, but I really appreciate joining us. Very insightful. I think a lot of people are watching to see when that report comes out, what happens. And like you said, you're going to treat your patients as such. Thank you so much for joining us.